How's it going everybody? This is Echo Papa and today we're talking about slip mode. Now slip mode is kind of a real-time edit that you can perform some really cool edits and some neat tricks without losing track of your position in the song or kind of losing track of your beat. Now the three functions that it works with is your hot cues, your scratching, and your loops. Now how it works is when you hit your hot cues, you scratch or you set a loop, what's going to happen as soon as you're done using one of those three functions, it's going to jump forward in song as if you had never done that edit. So if you say you're scratching, uh, one of the cool things you can use, like let's say you have a curse word, if you say start scratching right before that curse word, as soon as you let it go, it has jumped past that curse word and uh, as you can continue to move forward. But let's get right into it and show you how it works. They're gonna, we're going to start off with the hot cues. Now I have two cue points set right here for a song. The first one is just a drum beat. The second one is a, a glitchy drum beat. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to play the song right from the beginning and we're going to hit hot cue number two. And as we hit hot cue number two, it's only going to play that cue for as long as I hold down the button. As soon as I let the button go, then it's going to jump right back to as if I had never hit that hot cue at all. So let's go ahead and play a song. We activate slip mode. And my timing was a little off right there, but you get the point. It, you can see how it jumps forward only for as long as I hit that point, and as soon as you let it go, it jumps right back. So we're going to turn slip mode off, and we're going to show you how it works with loops. So we're going to start from the beginning again. We're going to turn on slip mode. So our end point our out point. Now we have a nice 4 beat loop. We can modify it and adjust it just as if it were any other loop. We can move it, do any kinds of uh, loop functions that we want. But now as soon as we hit this loop button, instead of uh, letting it go and starting right from where it's at, it's going to jump forward as if we had never started our loop. And there it is, and it jumped right forward. So that's how it works with loops. And the last one is scratching. So let's go ahead and show you that one. We're going to turn off slip mode, play our song from the beginning. Slip mode on. Now you can see it jumped forward again. And the other thing that you can do too uh, with slip mode on, if you just put your hand on it, you've stopped the music. But because you basically have your, your hand on it, it's it's kind of in, in a scratch mode, even though you're not physically, you know, moving it back and forth. So as soon as you let it up, it's going to jump forward and for as long as you hold it. You can see it made a big jump straight forward to the end there or straight forward to our second cue point rather and then you can see that you know uh, it's it just keeps on moving so you can so you can scratch past a curse word you can uh, so you can grab a beat and go ahead and scratch on as soon as you let it go you're you're right on beat which is great if you have the other deck playing a song at the same tempo because you don't lose beat with it because you know the song is staying synced up kind of in the background now you'll notice that this button flashes unlike the other buttons which kind of just uh, stay lit up when they're uh, in use like vinyl mode and I have another one set down here now the reason that this flashes is because you do not want to stay in slip mode slip mode is something that you're going to turn on you're going to do whatever trick or edit that you're going to do and then you're going to turn it off the reason that it flashes is just as kind of a visual reminder hey buddy you have slip mode turned on and you need to turn it off because once you have that slip mode turned on and your hot cues no longer work you know the way you're normally familiar with them your scratching is not going to work the way you're nor normally familiar with them loops uh, etc so anyway uh, if you need to get a hold of me you can find me on twitter at dj echo papa if you like this video please click the like button if you really liked it share it with your friends or better yet subscribe until next time my name is echo papa and i will talk to you later